what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about winning specifically how to get more wins when it comes to call of duty modern warfare's warzone game mode however before we jump into anything like that please do me that favor like the video subscribe to the channel and finally follow me on twitter in the background i have some warzone gameplay so feel free to watch that as we get through it baby call of duty warzone is not like any other standard multiplayer game mode that you've played the engine it runs on is the same but the code itself is slightly different I need you to understand that going into it because the game mode tells you basically nothing yeah there's like a tutorial that you can go through but it's pretty shit-tastic I mean it does go over the basics of how to kill someone when it comes to warzone picking up plates mission etc etc when it comes to that but anything past basic it's not gonna cover therefore going into warzone it is essential that you change your mindset and be open to an additional style of play for starters understand the reality when it comes to the warzone you are are not going to kill everyone there are a hundred plus enemies scattered throughout the map at any given point and based off my experience you won't have enough bullets to take them all out plain and simple so you have to be prepared to play a little bit stealthy and only take down those that make trouble for you or attract unwanted attention to the area where you are if you're playing solos that point is even more important in trios or quads you can get away with a little bit more of an aggressive play style because you have have teammates looking out for you they have your back they can potentially bring you back if things go south but otherwise you only have one life then a chance in the gulag to come back but otherwise you're just dead and you lost and you don't want to be in that position so be prepared to play a little bit more stealthy if you're playing by yourself rather than being on a team be aware that the weapons that are scattered throughout the map range from common to legendary some of them have attachments some of them don't some of them are really good and some of them are the embodiment of shit but that's okay because those weapons are only really utilized during the beginning stages of the match what i'm trying to say is when you pick up enough money or you see that beacon that says loadout drop incoming you have to make it your business to get it not only do you get a personalized loadout that you pick but you also get perks as well you want to play this game mode with the best class the best weapons the best gear and the best perks if possible so that when the pressure is on and it will be you know what the setup your running's capabilities are and you know the best way to beat the competition because you created that class one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make when it comes to warzone is not understanding the balance between when to play aggressive versus when it's time to wait in warzone you need both too aggressive and sure enough you will eventually run into that one rat bastard with the rocket launcher that's gonna one shot your sorry ass and send you to the gulag however on the other end of that if you play too campy you'll become complacent and you won't be ready when it's time to put in work and put somebody in the gulag yourself so you kind of need to find that balance you, you see what i'm saying just keep in mind you're not going to kill everybody on the map and you'll be fine when it comes to war zone killing people isn't the only thing that needs doing i am sure you've seen them missions scattered throughout the map do them not only do they provide additional funds so that you can potentially get that loadout drop as quickly as you can they also provide essential things like a gas mask or knowledge of where the circle is going to be next both rewards tend to make it a lot easier to win the match and that's the overall point when you're playing solo things are a little bit harder to do because you're by yourself however you can still grab missions you can still grab bounties and start weeding out the herd you can still grab scavenger and start picking up some good drops and or some money so that you can get that loadout drop as soon as possible I think I've provided you with a general understanding of what's required when it comes to Warzone to get a W. But just think about it like this. The overall objective is to be the last team and or player alive when the circle completely closes by any means necessary. So if you have to wait, then wait. Pick your kills and take that W. I've seen people win with literally one kill. 
obviously they camped it out the whole time but if you really want to think about it like that they got the w and outplayed everybody else in the process don't feel like you have to get 10 12 13 kills in warzone to be effective and to get a w it's simply not the case you can literally play conservative get one two three four five kills and be good to go by the end of the game but i digress i feel like i'm starting to ramble so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thank you for taking the time to watch my video i truly do appreciate that if i did miss anything or you want to get a good tip a good trick out to the community go ahead and leave it in the comment section below but nevertheless thanks again and i'll see you guys on the next one